Just 12 days to go till the midterm elections. Both parties reportedly are preparing for a GOP takeover in the Senate. Lawmakers are now said to be jockeying for position in the event that there is a power shift. So what might we expect if Republicans do wind up in control of the Senate? Let's ask Mike Needham, CEO of Heritage Action for America. Jessica Ehrlich is a Democratic strategist and a former Democratic congressional candidate. Uh, Jessica, are Republicans counting their chickens too early? Well, that definitely could be. Um, certainly, given the state of where things are right now, um, Democrats are very optimistic they will be able to keep this control of the Senate. But it's definitely going to be a hard-fought battle the next 12 days. I mean, we've seen tremendous amounts of money poured into these um, various races around the country. And it's definitely going to be a close one. So, Mike, let's just imagine that Republicans do win control of the Senate. A lot of the experts out there say it looks more and more likely. What is job one and what can they, frankly, accomplish uh, when the guy who inhabits the Oval Office has the veto pen. Well, you know, I think President Obama is going to have to show that he's willing to negotiate, he's willing to, to compromise. But at the end of the day, Republicans will have two years to show a contrast. We know that the president's policies have failed. They've made life worse for millions and millions of Americans. Republicans have solutions. Conservatives have solutions to real problems that hurt working Americans. What can we do about the price of food? Beef is up to $4 a pound. What can we do about gas prices? People are concerned, how can I send my kid uh, to college? Student loan debt is more than credit card loan debt. So there's all sorts of opportunities to show that conservatives and Republicans have real solutions. The president's policies after six years, they failed, and, and he's incompetent in, in implementing them. Jessica, with Harry Reid in charge of the Senate, Republicans have complained loud and long that their voices are essentially not heard. They are not allowed to offer amendments to legislation in the Senate. Um, Harry Reid has effectively shut out the entire party. Well, if Republicans take control, all of a sudden you've got turnabout. Would you expect some political payback? Uh, hopefully not. I mean, I think the Senate is really not technically supposed to be that sort of body. Well, it's not it supposed to be, but it, it sure is if yeah. you listen to the complaints of Republicans right now. Well, you have that on both sides before when Republicans were in control. You had the same issues and various tinkering with the rules that were going on. Um, I think definitely if we see Republicans take back control, the probably the first thing we can expect is there will be some tinkering with the rules, maybe changing things around. There's been talk about them reopening the ability to offer more amendments. But there's some actual bipartisan legislation that is in the Senate that hopefully will be the first steps taken. But I have to disagree with some of the things Mike said because you know one of the main problems is I know right now that the House continues to blame the Senate for obstructing the bills that they've passed, but they have had the majority in the House. They're likely to continue to have the majority in the House, and they've yet to produce anything that's shown that they really have the economic policies that Mike was mentioning, whether it's with student loan debt or helping middle class families. And instead, they've focused well, on sort of deregulating you know the environment and things like that. I so suppose, we're not John, really I think, seeing anything yeah, come out of there. It depends. I mean, you're obviously the Democratic strategist giving the Democratic point of view. Uh, the House Speaker, John Boehner, has sent over 46 bills to the Senate that he says will be a power, powerful stimulant impetus for this economy. What about that, Mike? It's exactly right. You know, what President Obama's been able to do is he's hidden, hidden behind Harry Reid. The House of Representatives has passed bills to increase H-1B visas. If we want to have real immigration reform, let's put amnesty to the side and let's start working where there's common ground. Ron DeSantis and Mike Lee have a fantastic bill called the Higher Education Reform and Opportunity Act. Dave Camp and the Ways and Means Committee passed a fundamental tax reform out of the committee, put forth a plan there. So there's tons of solutions. The problem is Democrats are hiding behind the obstructionism that Harry Reid has had. And I think it's going to be great to have two years where Republican solutions are put out there. We give real contrast that makes life better for working Americans. And let's have lots of votes. Let's have different amendments put on the floor in the Senate. Let's have lots of uh, different pieces of legislation put forth. Democrats are hiding behind obstructionism. And when Republicans take the Senate, it's going to be a great opportunity for them to have a platform to talk to the American police people about what we can do to make life better for them uh, and actually care about the real problems that they're facing. We expect we will know the answer to this debate question in less than two weeks. Mike Needham, Jessica Ehrlich, thank you both.